Welcome back, everybody. We are back together here with another video. And boy, 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 this new Snow White movie is not even really completed. There hasn't been a trailer, but we know that this movie is going to fail epically because of the star of the movie, uh, Rachel Ziegler, and her comments. Now, one thing we need to mention. All those video clips out there, these comments actually happened like a year ago uh, because you guys know that the uh, writer's strike and the actor's strike is actually going on right now. And one of the stipulations is when you're a part of these unions, you can't even talk about uh, the movies you're actually going to be in. So she is catching a whole bunch of heat, man. And she's did it to herself. She's went out there, trashed the original movie and kind of threw the... Um, one of the male co-stars under the bus that's actually going to be in this movie. That's going to be no prince. It's going to be nothing like uh, the 1937 classic. She's doing a whole bunch of damage to this movie. And I believe the movie is going to bomb. If you guys thought that Brie Larson was um, hated by the fans, I think Rachel Ziegler is probably right up there, if not worse at this point. This thing is going to be a disaster, right? Mm hmm. What do you make of um, Rachel Ziegler? I never actually saw anything she was in. I didn't have any opinion of her uh, before I heard about this movie. But her comments, man. Let me know this movie is going to be super duper woke. And she seems to be like a woke activist actress out there. You put those two together. It sounds like a recipe for disaster. You know? Mm -hmm. So look here. Branding experts warn Rachel Ziegler backlash could ruin Disney's bit budget Snow White remake and predict executives will be having crisis talks in order to win back fans ahead of 2024. Uh, newsflash, I don't think that's going to work. What? They're not going to win back any fans. Look, look at the track record of Disney. They have just consistently spit in your face. So why should anybody believe that Disney is actually going to try to win back fans? What project have they actually put out where they say, you know what? We messed up. We need to go out there and win back the fans. What happened with that Obi-Wan show? They went out there and called fans racist because they didn't like Reva. So you think it will be the same where like. No one likes the movie and, you know, the actor and actress will call the fan. Now, Disney will come out and call the fans racist for criticizing this movie because Rachel Ziegler is a quote unquote minority, I guess. Whatever. Yeah, they, they're going to double down. They're just going to call the fans racist. This movie's going to bomb. Because she's she's made herself so unlikable. Why would you actually go out? And trash the original movie. Now, all these other new woke Disney um, projects out there. For the most part, they haven't uh, actually went out there and trash, you know, like when it comes to Star Wars. You really mm -hmm. haven't heard too many of the people go out there and trash the George Lucas movies. This woman here is actively going out and trashing the 1937 classic calling uh, the prince a stalker. That's not good right there. No, the bad thing is like, um, I mean, she encouraged people to see it. The young people, it's kind of not cool. Yeah, I guess she wants people to see her movie, but um, people that probably never saw the classic movie, she's turning them off from that. But people that have seen the 1937 classic is going to be like, wait a minute, hold on. How dare you disrespect the original movie? Because like I said before, this is only uh, Snow White in name only. And I'm pretty sure that Disney may be panicking, but they're not going to do anything about it. They're not. And I believe the box office results will show that she's done so much damage to this movie. But Disney also Look at the uh, quote unquote seven dwarves or magical creatures, or whatever. They don't look anything like what's in a cartoon. No. 
Look here. Rachel Ziegler's comments about the upcoming live action Snow White remake could have a huge impact on ticket sales. You think? Uh, branding experts have warned. The 22-year-old actress has received plenty of backlash after she admitted she hated the original 1937 movie and branded the storyline weird <laughs> while referring to the prince character as a stalker, which we just talked about. But now, this expert here is saying that um, Disney's going to be panicking and they're going to have to do some damage control. And that's her right there is um, Snow White right there. Wow. Man, this thing is going to bomb right here. And this is what Snow White looks like in the 1937 classic right there. But um, here we go. Speaking to DailyMail.com. Branding expert caller uh, speed said, quote, while while it remains while, while it's been clear that the original Disney princess films hold old values, Disney have fallen for the trap of going to the opposite extreme to inflict strong and loaded messaging on the viewers, believing that's empowerment. There was a time when uh, Disney actors were trained were media trained and were thoughtful about the impact of their words. Uh, while sticking to key messaging about the films. But it seems with this total rewrite of Snow White, picturing her as a boss girl, has gone to the heads of the stars. Disney will need to be careful with how they have portrayed Snow White and what they do and don't, don't allow their actors to say about it going forward. They simply cannot repeat the same mistakes and allow their actors to be so vocal in their own personal opinions doing promotions. It can have a huge impact on ticket sales, especially with the negative, the amount of a negative backlash so early in the promo trail. Carla continued, they need to get uh, the key messaging and strong selling point into a, into a brief for the cast of the film and ensure they stick to it. If they don't, it's a disaster waiting to happen and the backlash will keep growing. His Possibly a good idea to get Rachel to clarify what she meant and highlight it was her own personal opinion, not a slight on women, she advised. But the thing is, though, she's already come out and said, no prince. She's not going to be saved by the prince. No true love. Any of that stuff. She has laid it out. She's told you the story of this movie without you even having to watch it. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean. So I don't I don't know what they're talking about right here. Send that Disney's going to have to control them. They can't. The star of the movie has already told you that the old movie's outdated and they changed it up. She, she's already told you that. There's no clarification needed, you know? Let's see here. She continues on. Uh, they should highlight the important message that it's okay to be who you want to be. After all, Disney has been famously telling us that they're the place... Uh, where dreams do come true and have never never actually defined what those dreams should be. Neither should their actors. Uh, PR expert uh, Nick uh, Eddy agrees and told DailyMail.com that perhaps Rachel isn't the best person to promote the film, uh, despite playing the main character. But she's the main character you expect the main character go, to go out there and speak. But what she's doing is she's pushing a woke agenda which is the theme of this movie. It's just that simple. So so what do, what do you think it is here? I just think she's, yeah, she's pushing the woman empowerment. And um, I mean, does she think that, like, I mean, because, like, okay, when you talk about Snow White, okay, and even though, like, it's, you know, a uh, old movie, I mean, but, like, people around the world, they, you know, saw it. And, you know, where, I mean, when you kind of, you know, talk things like that, like, you know, just... This movie is totally different, you know, from the classic one. Yeah. Then it's kind of a turn off. And 
The thing is, when she's pushing the her political agenda, like the feminist ideology or something. Yeah. Well, it's not just her. Remember, she didn't write this. No. She's telling us what Disney is pushing out there. Yeah. And, and she's on board with it. It just... It just uh, really, you know, as a woman, just like not all women are up to, you know, agree with the woman empowerment. Yeah. I mean, of course, like some women will agree because of the, you know, their bad experience or something. But, you know, you want to know what women empowerment is in Hollywood? It means put the man down. Put the man down. So to them, women empowerment is you got to have a weak man. You can't have a strong man and a strong woman. Oh, no, they cannot make men strong. They consider that to be female empowerment by keeping a man weak. To me, that that's kind of undermining, you know, women, if you ask me. I mean, do you have to be a strong woman only if the man is weak? No, I mean, you can be a strong woman without, you know, putting... You know, the man's down, you know? Yeah. I mean, I'm all for different kind of women, like strong women or just, you know, stay-at-home women or, you know. Yeah. Or be a mother or just, you know, just either have, you know, be a just be a wife or I be a wife and mother, it doesn't really matter for me. And I mean strong woman, yeah, I mean because, you know, in well, in my opinion, in today's society where, you know, is sometimes it's kind of hard for women to stay home and not work because like the economy and stuff and like the woman, you know, if they go out and work and have an education, you know, that's cool. You know, that's fine. I mean, for me, because, you know, women can help their, you know, husband or their loved one. Yeah. You know, like if, you know, their husband, you know, or, you know, their boyfriends got laid off and stuff and, you know, where she can help. You know, yeah. be, you know, his backbone. Yeah. Yeah. Now, look here. This is where they get into Disney um, panicking and having crisis thoughts. It says here, quote, Rachel is a bit name star playing one of the world's most famous fairy tale characters immortalized by Disney. She's not a bit name star. I never heard of this girl uh, before this. But anyway, uh, but instead of taking the lead of the uh, Little Mermaid's Haley Bailey and embracing a role, now Haley Bailey, Bailey came out and said, yeah, she loved the original. Uh, Rachel has actively chosen to spoil the narrative and express the new direction she has uh, taken Snow White in, uh, Nick claimed. This is by no means a wrong move, and Snow White and other stories, if they were written today, would have very different nuances and narratives. But the fact that she's actively being negative about the source material and laughing off the laughing off the old Disney film and the fairy tale uh, makes her look too eager to show off the new version and shows little or no respect for the previous version and other iterations. I'm sure Disney executives must be having crisis thoughts and thinking perhaps their new Snow White isn't the best person to promote the film and ensure it is a box office success. This thing's going to flop. It's going to flop. Uh, the film is due out in 2024 with the negative narrative that's now surrounding it. They will find it hard to create a magical and positive hype, which they ultimately were looking uh, to get having Rachel appear on red carpets. The negative press may entice people to see what all the fuss is about, but but unlike the uh, recent Barbie movie, uh, which features uh, brilliant feminist and empowering messages, uh, which we only discovered upon viewing, it feels like the cat has been let out the bag, and we already have an opinion of the film thanks to Rachel's narrative. Yep. She's the only one that's really kind of been going out there and speaking about this, and she's a star. So... Everybody, man, I can't find one single person that is like what she said about this. You know, if she doesn't like the classic one, 
I mean, I'm just wondering why she wants to, you know, play Snow White. Good, good question. I don't know. I'm not saying that you have to like the the old movie. No, but, but you don't have to come out and trash it. Talking, oh, it's outdated. The prince is a uh, he's creepy, stalker, all of those. Yeah, it seems like she wants to remake Snow White. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it seems like I don't know. Okay. No, it uh, just seems like she think she wants to, you know, upgrade Snow White or something like that. Yeah. Every time you hear this phrase, um, we're making it for a modern audience. That means it's going to be a disaster. It's going to fail. I believe that Disney shouldn't be doing any of these uh, live action remakes. No. Because for the most part, they just bomb. And now you got this, this uh, young girl here with a big mouth destroying this movie for 2024. Bit time. And I'm pretty sure that Disney's going to come, come out and call the fans racist. And a crisis meeting ain't going to mean a thing. I think that's going to wrap it up. We had a lot to say about this one. Huh? Mm-hmm. Boy, this is going to be bad. It's going to be bad. But that's going to wrap it up, guys. We'll be back tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe. Goodbye.